Welcome to this new video. Today we continue with the project from a few days ago. In this video we are going to create a custom user and custom user detail service. We start with the code in Eclipse from the Spring Authorization Server. We have updated the version of Spring Boot to 3.1.5. In the schema SQL file we have a new user's info table. With some fields we need in the next video about multi-factor authentication. In the user's config class we replaced the JDBC user details manager with a custom user details service bean. In the user record we have all the fields from the database and implement user details. There are a few things to pay attention to here. The JSON deserialize and the JSON ignore properties annotations. Collection extends granted authority is also important to avoid errors when serializing JSON. The last class is the custom user detail service which implements user detail service. With constructor injection we make JDBC template available and override load user by username to retrieve the user data from the database. The save user info MFA registered method is important for the next video. The next block of code is the Spring Resource Server 3. Here we have the user record with all the fields of the database. We don't need any additional annotations here. The user service is more extensive to be able to retrieve all data from the database and make it available to the REST controller. All other code is unchanged and can be found on the GitHub website. We can now start the five Spring Boot projects. Spring Authorization Server Spring Resource Server 1 Spring Resource Server 2 Spring Resource Server 3, Spring Cloud Gateway, and the Angular app. Make sure that you start the Angular app with ng serve host 127.0.0.1. We can now open the project in a browser window on 127.0.0.1 port 8090. If everything went well, we can now log in. We do this with the username admin and the password. If we click on user info we get the user info. And if we click on view users and authorities we get the database data of all users. That's it for this video. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In the next video we will expand this project with multi-factor authentication.